So the next recipe that we're gonna do is a parsnip panna cotta with spanner crab and finger lime. You're gonna need grated parsnip, straight into the thermomix, milk to cover, and then we're gonna switch this on to 100 degrees for five minutes on speed setting four. Basically what that's going to do is it's going to heat up the parsnip and it's going to release all its lovely sweet juices. Our uh, milk and parsnip have finished infusing in the thermomix. Okay, we're going to measure the weight of milk. Roughly 250 grams we're using. We next add our quick thick product to the warm milk and use a blender just to incorporate the, uh, the powder so it rehydrates and starts to thicken the milk. The more air that you sort of work into the gel, the thicker that it starts to get. And then as you can see, slightly thickened and that will set in the fridge. So we're just gonna pour it into our serving glass and let that set in the fridge. Okay, to finish the dish, um, we're gonna serve the panna cotta with a spanner crab and freeze-dried coconut. Okay, so to finish the little salad, we're just gonna microplane some lime into the crab, a little bit of juice, some chives, some finger lime, and a little bit of seasoning. Mix that up. So it's kind of like a cold crab salad. Okay, straight into the jar. Some black olive, which is freeze dried and then crushed. Some lovely young coconut. and a couple of nasturtium leaves, just to finish the dish off. And that's our parsnip custard, made with quick thick and freeze dried young coconut.